This is a problem that's been beaten over the head for decades, but people still don't understand it. But you will understand it by the end of this video, because it's actually really simple and intuitive. The idea of the Monty Hall problem is that you have three doors to choose from. One of those doors is the correct door with a prize. You pick a door, the host reveals a different door to not be correct, and now you're left with a decision of whether or not to switch doors. A star indicates the correct door. Look at this scenario. You pick door C with 1 in 3 odds of being right. The host sees your decision, picks door B to reveal to you as an incorrect door, and since you had a 1 in 3 chance of being wrong in your first choice, switching doors should give you a 2 in 3 chance of winning, right? Wrong. This is not the Monty Hall problem, and this scenario gives you a 50-50 chance. But Lelouch, you say, what's the difference between this scenario and the Monty Hall problem? Easy. The difference is the rules in which the host has to follow. In my scenario, the host just picks a door to reveal. However, two rules must apply to the host. The obvious rule is that the host cannot open the door containing the prize, and we'll assume this rule is always in effect until the end of the video. Let's try to play again with this rule in mind. I pick a door, he reveals a door, and it's still 50-50. It's the second rule that changes that. This rule is that the host cannot open the door that you picked. That may seem obvious, but it is the basis for the entire Monty Hall problem. Keep this rule in mind. Now, let's try again. I pick a door, the host reveals a door that cannot be the prize and is not the door I've chosen. Now, switching gives me a 2 in 3 chance. Why? The power lies in the fact that you picked a door at the beginning. If the host is free to open your door as any other door, the fact that you chose a door at all doesn't matter. But when the host is forced to choose a door that you did not pick, that means that your decision actually affected the outcome of the host's decision, giving you valuable information. You may ask, but Lelouch, none of your scenarios before did the host actually pick the door you chose. So what's the difference? You're right, but the devil is in the details. First, Let's analyze the situation if the host can in fact reveal the door you've chosen. When you pick a door, whether or not your door was correct, the host has two doors to choose from, the two incorrect doors. In this case, his decision is not affected by your decision. So if you choose an incorrect door and the host simply happens to reveal the other door to be invalid, this doesn't reveal anything to you, as his decision had nothing to do with your initial 1 in 3 odds of picking the right door. Now, let's analyze the situation when the host can't pick the door you've chosen. If you pick the wrong door, which you likely did, the host is forced to reveal the only other incorrect door. Essentially, if you're wrong, which you had a 2 in 3 chance of being, then the other door is correct. So you're counting on your initial decision being wrong. If you run through the scenario 100 times, the fact that the host can't reveal the door you've chosen will affect his decision making about two-thirds of the time, which is the amount of times you'd probably pick a wrong door. Picking the wrong door means there is only one door the host can reveal to you. The other third of the time, it won't affect his decision making because you'll have chosen the correct door that he can't reveal anyway. Let me repeat that. If your first decision was wrong, the other door must be correct. The odds you were wrong are 2 and 3. That means the odds the other door was right is 2 and 3. This is only possible because the rules force the host's hand in the matter. Choosing the wrong door forces the host to reveal the only other wrong door. So in this situation, you're hoping that you chose the wrong door, and you most likely did. That should reveal to you that since you're wrong two-thirds of the time, which forces the host's hand on what door he can open, that two-thirds of the time, switching leads you to the correct door. However, when the host is not bound to this rule, 
even if they choose to reveal a door other than yours, it was not a forced decision, meaning you can't obtain any information and the odds are 50-50. Here's the program, don't get overwhelmed. This is a random number generator. This is our list of doors. I've scaled the problem to 100 doors to exaggerate the percentages. The only important differences between 3 and 100 doors is that the host will eliminate 98 doors and the odds of winning by switching doors increases to a 99% chance if the host is following the rules. More on this soon. I'll run over this scenario 200,000 times in order to get a good amount of sample data. The prize door and the door that we choose will be random. Now this is the meat and potatoes. These are the rules the host has to follow. He can't reveal a door that he's already revealed, since there's 98 doors to remove instead of one. He cannot reveal the door that contains the prize, and he cannot reveal the door that you've chosen. Now, when I run this program, the percentage it'll output is the amount of times you'd have won by switching doors. The outcome is always about 99%. But wait, let's remove the condition that says he can't reveal our door. If your door is revealed, the decision of switching is out of your hands, so we'll only keep track of the number of times the host, by pure chance, happens to not reveal your door. So we'll see the total amount of times the door you've chosen was not removed by the host, then we'll see what percentage of those times you'd have won by switching doors. The outcome? About 50-50. Even though the host didn't remove your door, that was just a coincidence. The host wasn't going to remove your door anyway. Your initial decision had no bearing on the doors the host removed. In fact, I can remove the line of code where you ever pick a door because your initial choice was meaningless in determining which door had the prize. Do you get it yet?